previous video, I have introduced how to quickly create a Laravel Online project with Inertia and the right support. I also create a simple web page for short URLs, but that's pretty basic web page. There's no design and the style on it. So in this video, I'll show you how to make some styles to, to the page. Instead of apply the Tailwind classes and the styles to the page, I'm going to introduce you how to use some pretty handy component library, for example, the called Element Plus to the Amara project. Element Plus is a Vue 3 based component library, a UI framework for developers and engineers, so you can easily use the components to build up your application. In this way, you don't need to worry about the styles or the UI too much. Instead, you just focus on your business logic. Okay, I will show you. So I have already applied the change to the code base. So you can see this is the page with uh, the element plus library. So how and uh, what I did to make it happen, I'll show you. First of all, it's a installation. If we look into the package.json, so this is a project I have created in previous video. If you are not familiar with it, feel free to check out the previous video and uh, see what I did to set up this project. Okay, so if you see the dependency here, this is what you need to install, element plus. Simply run command in npm install element plus to install it to your project. So that's the first step. The next thing is to integrate or import CSS and the view components provided by this framework. We do it in the app.js file. Both the components and the, the view components and the, the CSS will be imported here. So you you don't have to import this in the, the CSS here. There are multiple options for you. So you can check out the MN Plus official documentation. But for now and for demonstration purpose, I just import the CSS here. Okay, once we import the element plus component, we still need to get it applied or used by the view application. We are using create initial app function to initialize the client side application. So in the callback of setup, we can append or inject the element plus use like this line of code. We can call the views function and the pass element plus component so that it will be applied to the client side application. So this is the, the setup. This, it's pretty straightforward. And now let me show you what I did for the, the page, short URLs page, essentially this page, what kind of change I made. First thing is, as I mentioned in my previous video, I reused the shared components from the Inertia demo application called Pain VRM. So one of the components is layout. I create another folder under shared called element plus so that all the element plus related components goes to this folder. So I create another layout component here. I use the EL tags to set up the layout. So a couple things here, container, header, main, and the footer. So these are three necessary components in the container. So all the element plus components can be used or referenced with the EL dash tag. So you can check out in the documentation. So what I did is go to the official documentation so and uh, find the, the 
component here. So this is a layout con container. This is what I just mentioned. So there are some common common layouts. I chose one of them. So I chose this one. You can use whatever you prefer. And uh, in this component, you can see the source code simply reuse if you feel it's okay or suit your requirement. So this is how I, I did it. The other thing is, as we have the, the layout, then I add a menu to the header. So this is what I used, left and the right menu. To view source, you can see, so click view source button here, you can see the source code of the view component. I also reuse this part and uh, adjust a bit to suit my requirement. So this is what I have in the header. And uh, the main part, it will be the same as the, the old layout. I use a slot so that the page component or content can be part of the main, main tag. And uh, I keep the footer empty. So that's how I set up the layout of the page. You can see pretty much what you see here. It's pretty nice and clean. And in the middle of the, the page, we have a form. This form comes from the index.view. So this is the page component I have already changed with the element plus tags. So we set up a row with three columns. In the middle, we have the form. The other two on the left and right act as the placeholder or the spacing. And you or you might also see here there are some attributes, the size. This is for the responsive layout. So if we scroll up again in the documentation, if you look into the layout section, scroll down, you can see the responsive layout. Element plus gives us five breakpoints as preset ones. So looking to the source code, you can see how we can use the different breakpoints and set up the, the layout correspondingly. By the way, if you scroll back to the very top, you can see the layout of the element plus has by default or basic 24 columns. So this is how you split the 24 columns in different components. So here is how I set it up. So you can see on the very wide screen where I want to have the form with one third width and uh, it will take more and more space on the width on the smaller screens. Okay, so this is what we have now. You can see as I narrow down the width, you can see the form takes different size of the screen. And that's the, the form. The last thing is the form itself. We also have some very, very beautiful form example, basic forms from the element plus documentation. This is what I follow. Still click view source button. You should see the source code. So this is how I set up the form. The last thing is that I put the label on top of the field. So this is the alignment, how it happened. So in my code, I have a data called label position, which sets to top. It's applied to the form attribute label position. So this is how I specify that the label should be on top of the field. If I change to left, you can see the label goes to the left of the field. Considering the width, so you can see it's right. Okay, let me refer to 
let me revert to the top. Okay, you can see now this is the top. And uh, yeah, a small thing to, to mention. So this is the, the menu in the header. I also set the sub menu. These are often the example here, the menu. Okay. You might be aware here if I click in the input here, you see some outline on the blue border. This is because that we have the tailwind CSS imported by default in the Laravel 9 project. There's no conflict on this input in terms of the styles. So if you prefer using Elman Plus framework, it's better to get rid of the Tailwind CSS from your project and add the necessary styles, for example, font family, font size stuff on the, the body tag so that the same font uh, styles can be applied to a page if then you remove the Tailwind CSS. Okay, that's it for today. This is just a introdu an introduction on how you can integrate some popular UI framework, Vue 3 UI framework to your Laravel project. If you still prefer to use Tailwind CSS by yourself and set up the, the whole page, mm, that's totally fine. Otherwise, you want to give a try, you can follow this video and uh, see if these UI frameworks are something you can apply in your project and uh, have some rapid development in your features. Okay, I think that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Next time I'll start working on some real features to implement the short URL, say the shorten the long URL so that you, you will have something pretty similar as tiny URL or bit.ly application. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to do thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel if you like it. And see you next time. Bye-bye.